Hello world and welcome to Barker's workshop. So for my returning subscribers you'll see the beard is gone. Yes I've shaved it off just to be safe with this whole coronavirus going around. I can't fit a mask properly to my face with the beard being there. Um, but wash your hands that's the most important. Okay so today we're continuing with the um, repair of the Nerf Rapid Strike. In this video what I'll be doing is I'll be replacing that resistor and just testing the electronics of the blaster to make sure if it is working or not. Depending on that um, there will be a mod video after this one where I show how to fit the LiPo battery. Alright let's get into it. Okay so as you can see in the top down view here um, I've really opened the blaster up. Uh, I've got the wire here that I need to be working on and I have got the resistor right here that needs to be fitted. Um, let's just take the electronics out a little bit. Okay. So by looking at the cap, I guess we're going to need some zoom here. Okay, so I hope you guys can see over there. Um, so the, this is the area we will we'll be working. Um, here is the wire that I will be um, soldering the resistor on. Looking at the direction of the resistor, um, this cap is broken off. But what you can, what I can see right on the edge of this resistor is that there is a color band looks like silver on it. Okay, so obviously this resistor has got a color combination that gives us um, its strength. I can't remember exactly. Um, last time I did this was in cottage but um, what is most important here is that we have got another resistor here um, a replacement one uh, zoom out a little bit and you can see it lying over here now what and you can see it is exactly the same match so what is important here is that we get the direction correct now seeing that this one has got silver in that direction we know that this side must be soldered to that side and the blue band must be on that side. Right, okay. Um, I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna show you while I'm working because that is a little bit too distracting and I need you to move around. But once I've got it done, I'll so show you it, okay. Okay, so let's continue. Um, I actually got the gun working but I discovered some more problems along the way so let's just quickly let me show you what I've done up till now so here you can see I fitted the new uh, resistor in place it's been soldered in uh, I've covered the wire up with insulation tape I did not have any heat shrink for this size the heat shrink I've got is too big um, then once I did this I found that the pusher worked okay so the pusher works the motors work individually but when i press the rev trigger it did not want to work so if i put power on the motors they work but if i on the rev trigger then it doesn't work um then i discovered um these are the original motors let me just zoom out again here sorry about this kind of actually need a camera man um, so these were the original motors that were in this gun. Um, at the back, um, I found. If you look here, there's a little bit of a. Uh, there was a dry joint here. Well, dry joint. It kind of broke off, to be honest. And so electric, it wasn't connecting, and it broke off flush with the uh, PC board. And I can't see a soldering point. So, um, and yeah, I can see that the surface area, the green surface area, um, actually started to lift up. So I think this board is gone. Um, so what I did then is I had a spare set of motors and uh, I connected them into the blaster um, here and I soldered them in. And since I did that, everything is working. So. Here I've got some two. Uh, I've got two IMR batteries um, that I've connected, and I've got some crocodile uh, 
vectors. Um, let me just actually put this gun properly into the mill. There we go. Alright, we um, need a mag just to um, get the locks to make a connection, otherwise the whole mechanism won't work. That little guy there, that little lock there pushes in that completes the circuit. So telling, and you can see this little lock on this side, I've just put some insulation tape around it um, because I was having too much trouble with that spring jumping out all the time, so I've just short circuited like that basically. Okay. So let's make put the battery on. Okay, so you can hear the motors are working. And if I pull the trigger, then you'll see the pusher working as well. Okay. So right now this gun is basically repaired. Um, what I'm gonna do next, um, and I'm I have to decide now whether I'm going to do it in part of the repair video or part of a mod video is the next thing that needs to happen is I have to connect the um, LiPo battery into the tray um, here's the wires you can see it's quite thick wires compared to the standard wiring that I've got there so I need to connect these wires up to those areas there and then obviously just connect the LiPo and then everything's working Okay subscribers, so what I'm going to do is I said I will continue doing the mods in another episode. You're welcome to keep an eye out for those if you're interested. But I'm going to stop the repair video right here and we'll continue into the mod. Please subscribe if you uh, found this useful at all. This is the type of thing I do on my channel and like please. Cheers. See you